Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. I'm on a high after the last run. That was, uh... We had to play really well to win. I'm gonna, I'm gonna toot my own horn a little bit. VDMNXZG6. There is our seed. Admittedly, it was not like... Oh. Oh. Best case scenario, I apologize for the mouth flatulence. Best case scenario, shoot the whoop, reroll, polyphemus miss GG. Unlikely. That's like a 1 in 400 chance. But if it happens, you will all recognize me as your new messiah and lord of all things Isaac. Um, well, that's up to you. I'm not gonna... Ah! Pressure you. Okay, we should really, like, be careful. Taking damage on this room doesn't seem so bad. Oh, we have 3 HP. What could go wrong? Well, you know, we take uh, two hits on this room. Mullabooms chase us down. I don't know why I'm all about the Mullabooms. It's still had, like, a bit of an imprint on my mind from that uh, Mullaboom or two that seemed on kind of line as they were with the less than angelic traffic and black tar smack and psychedelics, etc, etc. Um, and then we, we fight the haunt and we take two hits and we're down to half a heart and then I walk on some spikes and die because the game cannot kill me, I will have to kill myself. That's the only fitting way for the streak to end. It went okay. Obviously I'm not thrilled about the fact that we had a bomb, but you know, half a spirit heart down the shitter isn't... Oh, I'm a genius! I'm still kind of a genius somehow! Uh, half a spirit art down the shitter is not so bad. And it's not even a spirit art, it's a red heart. Half a spirit art down the shitter would be annoying. Because you'd be like, oh, now I gotta call the plumber and that's gonna be even more expensive. Plus, I actually like that spirit heart. And now it's in the toilet. But, um... Yeah, I, I absolutely should have taken damage there. There's just not even a question about it. So, we do the we do the simple thing here. We, we shoot in a bullet every time we get a chance. And every time we know that these guys are not gonna poke their little heads out. That leads to us getting, uh... The occasional hit in on these spiders, and then it only takes one more to finish him off. Got a key. Very happy to see that. Not happy to see that. I'm happy-ish to see this, actually. So Leo early on is pretty good. It also gives you a chance to go tuka 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 boom. His name is Leo, and he dances on the poop, making me happy even though we didn't get the shoop do whoop. Oh, there's a tinted rock in the corner there. Without that, Leo would have left that rock behind. Oh, Leo, Leo, don't pay detractors any mind. Seriously, though, it's not like that good, but it's okay. Plus, it gives you the opportunity to do that, so I'm, I'm pleased with that. And we're going to be looking for a crawl space if we can snag one. We're going to be looking for tinted rocks because we can snag them all. Oh, make my own cover if you're not going to give me any game. Also, of course, we have a pretty good opportunity to uh, get money out of the pots. Got our spirit heart already, so it's, it, you know I'm feeling pretty pretty solid about this. Can we get it 15 cents on this floor? What do you think the over under is on us getting 15 cents on this floor? I got a good feeling about it. It doesn't have to all come from pots. You know, we got a secret room. We can go into our shop, blow up the donation machine. But you know, the pots are the the principal free element of it, the the more guaranteed element because it's easier for us to, you know, just walk into a pot than it is to blow up a donation machine. Of course. What do you think? Uh, maybe a secret room right here. That's a lot of money. If you voted no to uh, 15 cents on this floor, you're probably feeling mighty silly right now. Why don't we use one more bomb to get into our shop? Because we do have uh, Leo, so, or, yeah. We have Leo, so we don't need many bombs. Yeah, that, that reasoning does make sense. We'll pick up the steam sale early. I think that's a very sound decision. Whoa! Get out of here! Um, I think I will probably pick up that spirit heart, but we'll wait for the boss fight to end. What have I done here? Do I have them trapped? I think I have them trapped. We'll probably buy the key now. And I'm pretty pleased with this, honestly. Um, I mean, it's weird. I really do want to see if we can get the crawl space, but we'll see. If we walk out, walk back in, what do you got? Ah! <laughs> Dang it, always, you're always scaring me. There's no, uh, there's nothing to be had there. All right, let's see what we got. It's pin. That's not so bad. Um, all right. That's a completely average time to use uh, explosive diarrhea. At least it didn't hurt me in the process. Oh, Leo, Leo, dance across the Leo Grands. I mean, uh, you know, it's a bit of a shallow parody, I'll give you that. Now, I'm looking for uh, DPS. I gotta admit, you know, I got a little bit of highway blindness going on uh, after the, the last run. Our damage was quite good, even though it was looking very scary at multiple opportunities there on the last run. This one is uh, 
it's average right now, but our damage was great on the last run, so I'm feeling a little, a little behind the times, you know? Don't get hit by these jokers. They got all sorts of shenanigans going on right now. Okay, we do want this and this and I'll tell you what. We may want uh, to try to find our second secret room. Would it be here? I don't even remember what this room looked like before we exploded it. Um, I'm going to try here for a secret room. Lovely. Child's Heart is fine. I was thinking we'd get portable slot, but I'm not gonna. This is okay. Uh, and I will, I think, just to, just to fudge with you, I think I'm gonna buy both of these as well. And you're saying, Northern Lion, that's a, you spent a lot of money in that shop. We got lucky to get a lot of money, so I'm gonna press those advantages while we have them. That was a very long first floor, but I think it set us up nicely, especially if we get an arcade on this floor. I'm gonna be so happy that I, I went through all that due diligence, and of course we're still gonna be looking for a crawl space as well if we can snag one. The crawl space isn't even about what's in the crawl space. Oh, we made it. It's not even about what's in the crawl space. It's about the fact that you find the crawl space and then you go, ooh. It could be anything, and then it usually sucks. But it could be anything. Admittedly, it does usually suck, though. Okay. No crawl space here. That's all right. It happens. Tough room. Got pretty lucky to not uh, lose anything. Always looking for more tinted rocks. But if they don't want to give me more tinted rocks, that's acceptable. I will turn regular rocks into tinted rocks. Just as you could take some delicious, uh, you know, you could take some delicious lentils and crush them up and turn it into falafel. Chickpeas. Lent- chickpeas. Falafel's chickpeas. That's my mistake. Don't take that as my disrespect of falafel. It's just- it, take that as a love of lentils. I'm a huge lentil fan and a huge chickpea fan. And I was like, I probably like lentils a little bit- a little bit more than chickpeas. So I, I made my bed and now I'll, I'll lie in it. It was a mistake. Ludo is uh, non-negotiable. It shows up, I pick it up. That's the way our relationship works here. You know what? I don't like that. So we're just going to bypass uh, any semblance of badness. Sharp plug is interesting enough to pick up, I think. I do want to re-roll the other shop items. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it, if we can. Now we're definitely looking for, for damage. And this is one, um, you know, deal with the devil, that helps out so much. But this is one deal with the devil that could really, really win the run pretty much instantly. Brimstone, mom's knife not so much, but of course I would take it. Um, you probably want to reroll that as well. And that's not, this is not one of those options, but that's okay. Uh, the other thing, did I say death's touch? Death touch would be great. Much better. Uh, the shot speed down does suck a little bit. It's going to make our Ludovico shot very, very slow. Life goes on. Broken stopwatch. Not really interested. Um, let's look for a secret room here. I don't think it's a great chance, but it is a chance. And now we know that it's in the one probably... Well, there's actually two other likely scenarios for this that we can see right off the bat. But that's okay. So we did get Small Rock. Tears Upgrade is going to work with Ludovico Technique. I believe that it will uh, make it so the damage ticks faster from Ludo, which is pretty good. All right, consumables are not going to be as much of an issue you would expect anymore. Yeah, there we go. Get, keep pace. I got him the pace car. Dangle the carrot on the stick. You're going to grab the kit. What are you doing? You're freaking me out there. Lust is, is pulling some, you know, moves I've never seen before. There we go. Oh, Cricket's head. Don't mind if I do. Okay. So, our damage is going to be substantially better as a result of that. Telepills. Would have been a great time for an error room. I guess we're out. I guess we're done with this floor. A little disappointed. I got to admit, no crawl space, no arcade. But Cricket's head, small rock, Ludovico technique, and contract from below. Very, very solid. And uh, I didn't even remember, but uh, blue cap. There's no blue map. Maybe even it's a little bit better here. That was not very smart. Let's throw this down on the ground. We got uh, a shot speed upgrade in the form of Magic 8-Ball. Really feels like Magic 8-Ball should be like a speed, or sorry, not a speed, but a luck upgrade as well. Because it's associated with gambling, I guess, but whatever. I'm not going to be too bent out of shape about it either way. The shot speed upgrade is worth taking, for sure. Makes it much, much easier to hit enemies. I'm not going to reroll that. And we're looking real cool right now. <laughs> Son, have you been, uh, have you been taking any illicit narcotics tonight? No, officer! Nope. Just, I'm high on life. Uh, I did eat half of a medium pizza with my friends earlier. At the pool hall. I think we probably want petrified poop. Even though poop is not going to be super easy to come by, 
when we do come by it, we'll be able to get some nice benefits out of it. While that heavily incentivizes the ability to fly. I really like this combination of items. Uh, Ludo in particular, I would just love to get even more shot speed. Like, to, to be able to do it fast enough that I don't really have to think about where I'm placing it, you know? We, could, we do have to watch out for the mushrooms. I probably should not be walking over them willy-nilly, but I'm going to walk over them willy-nilly. So, you know, if you got a problem, yo, I'll solve it. Check out the beat while my DJ revolves it. Check out the hook. Check out the hook while my DJ revolves it. My mistake. Bing, what a poser. This guy doesn't even listen to Vanilla Ice! Poser. Leech is fine. Um, I don't think it's a great item. But it can be. I mean, I don't think it's a great item in our circumstance right now, I guess. We're, I, I don't expect us to really have too much need for lifesteal, but you never know, man. Too explosive diarrhea pills, huh? Mmm, no. Although, we will actually go pick those up right after this, so we can probably blow up all these mushrooms. Now we're looking for luck upgrades as well, because... You know, we, we get double drops, so if we can get more than double drops... Oh, right, we are the ones dropping the bombs here. I think we'll just pick this up, and we'll see what our other pill down here is. Didn't mean to do that. I can see forever. That's really good. Hopefully we get a chance to use that appropriately. Um, yeah, but luck upgrades, you know, we, we already get double consumable drops, so to get more consumable drops means we get more doubled consumable drops. It's just got to... I'm not going to say exponential, but it's it's got a disproportionate increase on our uh, on its value than normally we would get from it. So, I like it, of course. Gertie J is annoying. We're in a pretty lucky position where really all we need to do is focus on dodging. You know, I can just leave my shot somewhere and there's a ooh, pretty decent chance that Gertie Jr. will run into it as long as I somewhat direct it. No deal with the devil. I think we could afford a speed upgrade. Could have re-rolled it, but... I don't think it hurts to have a little extra speed. That's not our secret room. Kind of a big surprise. And I am going a little slow here. I'm not super worried about boss rush. Of course, I would love to get... Uh, I would love to get uh, more items. And especially having a choice over items is nice. That's not a secret room. Okay. Um, might want to buy a bomb, but... Honestly, I'm happy to have champion belt. Really, like that's what I want to stack up here is just damage. Strange attractor would be nice. The ability to fly has, um, you know, particular closeness to my heart for right now. Which is just a roundabout way for me to quote a Rush song. Let me take a drink of water here as we're backtracking a little bit. It's pretty gross. But I had my wisdom teeth taken out like, uh... A little bit over a month ago. It's probably five or six weeks now. So I'm, I'm fine. My jaw doesn't hurt anymore. And it hasn't for, for a couple weeks. Uh, well, no, not even a couple weeks. A few weeks. It did hurt for like a week and a little bit. That was really annoying. However, um, they, like, I'm getting up there, you know? The, the human body is resilient. It grows back from a lot of stuff. But apparently, the jaw takes a long time to heal, or the, the mouth takes a long time to heal the older you get. My, my dentist, when I got my wisdom teeth out, was actually mad at me for, for being 26. He's like, you should have gotten this done when you were younger. I was like, well, you're one of your colleagues fucking told me I didn't need to get it done. And then as soon as my, uh, as soon as I graduated from college and didn't have dental insurance anymore, he's like, well, these are looking a little bit problematic. I'm onto your game. Dr. Kondesh. I'm onto your fucking game. That's a made up name. Well, I mean, I didn't make up the name, but that's not really my dentist's name. My ex-dentist. Happy with this Joker card, probably don't want to use it right away. But I do want to take the Sun card with me on this floor, so it's a little bit of a gamble. Good? I mean, pretty good haul. Um, but anyway, the whole justification for that story... Fuck it, let's just use it right away. Yeah... I don't really want to take Gimpy, but... I don't really want to take either of these, actually. Little Brimstone is great, but it doesn't work well with Ludo. So I'll reroll them both, and I'm relatively pleased with this. Um, the whole justification or the impetus for the story was that I still basically have these holes, these flesh holes in my mouth that, uh, please stop with the dirty talk. They catch little, like, food particles in them to rinse out my mouth, like, after every single meal, which is probably good practice anyway. Um, but it's, it's getting to the point where I'm like, okay, I get it, you know, good dental hygiene, but could you just please, like, let me live my life in peace. Uh, tempted. Very tempted. There we go. To play you. I didn't mean to give you that. Uh, actually, now we should we should play you because we already have seen the deal with the devil and taken everything. So we might as well play you. There's no reason not to, except you know financially, maybe we don't really see the interest. Um, 
But I do see the interest. Let's give it a try. I wouldn't mind having a little bit more HP. If we're not going to be super low on HP, we might as well be as high as we can get. Easy. We still have enough money to buy something from the shop for sure because I've made the fairly shrewd decision. Not that I'm taking 100% credit for it. You know, it had to show up in the first place, but we got lucky enough to be able to get the Steam sale from our first shop, which, with a lot of money, is awesome. Plus, we just picked up a lot of money right there. Still, uh, the Sun card gives me um, great confidence here. And it's actually, it's looking like this is going to be... This is very nice, especially because we can reroll it into another devil item by not leaving the room. I really... Wait, we have sharp plug. We got a sharp plug, don't we? Let's do it again. Judas is shot. Oh, don't mind if I do. So this is going to be awesome for us if we can find a way to kill ourselves and get some spirit hearts back. I know that we have a lot of spirit hearts and we've gained a lot of spirit hearts on this floor. We even gained some HP, so I'm... It's a bit of a risk to, to go over the top with this Judas' Shadow play, but it's always worked out. That's a risky line of reasoning, because on the streak, everything has always worked out. However, this has always worked out, too. What's our other one? Poop? Yeah, Liberty Cap's probably better. You might be wondering, whoa, are you, you got a Death Wish or something? Why are you running into all those mushrooms? Yes, yes, I do have a Death Wish. Also, if we get a health upgrade, a Balls of Steel pill, or a Magic Mushroom, then I have a good reason to kill myself and come back as Judas the Shadow and pick it up. And of course, you know, we'd be expecting double Spirit Heart drops if we get a Spirit Heart drop randomly from a room, which is somewhat unlikely, but... Would be nice if we could swing it. Um, if this is an HP upgrade or it gives us spirit hearts, we will be taking advantage of it. Quite the opposite, huh? Well, we'll just get a reroll then. Ooh, almost walked on the spikes there. I'm very happy I caught myself. Maybe a sign that um, my brain's not totally broken right now. Much appreciated. Well, we might as well if we get a spirit heart in here, which we don't. Um, well, what are we going to do then? Let's buy them both. I think we can get advantages out of both of these. And then we'll go re-roll, and I think we can go pretty hard on the re-rolling, is what I'm trying to get at. Like, if we don't like what we got in this re-roll, re-roll it again. Don't really like it. I understand, but I don't really like it. Yes, I love it. And our pill is I Can See Forever, which we can use. Now, admittedly, it's looking like we might not get a chance to really um, do the whole Judas the Shadow thing on this floor. I have faith. We're still fairly early. If we get some spirit hearts on the next floor, it should still be fine for us to do it and uh, not be at a, a great risk or anything like that. So, uh, we'll also see maybe there's a black heart or an eternal heart in our second secret room. Which I'm guessing is over to the left here. Okay, keyboard froze there. I'm waiting for the day when that kills me. What are these pills? Explosive diarrhea, speed up, bombs are key. Explosive diarrhea, I can see forever. So, speed up for sure. And it's either the sun or I can see forever. I'm going to take I can see forever over the sun card. <gasps> I know, but I'm going to do so because I think that the sun is not going to be worthwhile once we become Judas or Dark Judas. And um, the I can see forever pill could give us an eternal heart, a black heart. It can give us basically more fuel to be Dark Judas. Might as well pop I can see forever right away. Not that we need the extra damage from uh, Dark Judas here to... To win, I feel like this run is going fantastically, quite swimmingly, as is. Very dumb, but I guess not a huge problem, I guess. I guess, I guess, I guess. Red chest? No. That is an eternal heart, though, so we really, really want to not pick it up. I think I will pick it up, like I will get myself killed ASAP and pick it up just so I don't forget it. Which is absolutely conceivable. Got them both. Yeah, okay. This is Necropolis 1, so there's no blood bank. We find some spikes. I don't really want to kill myself on enemies because it's a little bit unwieldy. Um, but if we find some spikes, I would do it. Uh, fires would do it. I'd, I'm happy that our shop is here because I'd rather have, like, the starting HP from Dark Judas plus the Spirit Heart that we'll hopefully get in the shop plus the Eternal Heart. The Eternal Heart doesn't, I think, I think it doesn't protect you until uh, the next floor anyway. Good. Okay, I almost picked it up. We don't want to pick it up yet. There should be fire in the shop as well. And that's more HP for us in here as well. And that, I don't, we don't know what the pill is. What's the pill? I can see forever. Okay. <laughs> Bit of a broken record here. Fire in the kitchen. Dark Judas in the hall. So we shouldn't get hit after... Oh, it's going to give us red heart damage. We're going to lose our deal with the devil chance. Ah, it's probably worth it. We, okay, we have times one life, so we are going to come back to life after this, I and mean, it's not just the end of my existence. Good. We are Dark Judas. Our tears are going to be disgusting. 
I'm ready to win. Let's do this. So worthwhile. And then we're gonna get the Eternal Heart. It is gonna ruin invincibility, but it's worth it. Obviously this, definitely that. You know what, we're on Necropolis 1, let's donate to our donation machine. We've been very good about carving out a sustainable existence with our donation machine, and mainly what that comes from is inconsistently donating a ton of money. So if we can donate 20, 30 cents here, we got it up to 300 that time. Loving it, okay. So Dark Judah's damage here should be awesome. We've already gotten Cricket's Head, I believe, and other huge damage upgrades. Wow, that is, that is really fast. I don't think the Strength card does too much for us here, so we'll just take our Eternal Heart and then be on our merry way here. Shouldn't have a deal with the Devil Chance. Maybe that's a good thing we can get a deal with the Devil on the next floor, more likely, when we have some HP to back it up. Yeah, that was, a, that was a, again, what I like to say all about coulda, not shoulda, which is a, an old Pat and Oswald joke that I'm stealing, but I could walk on that skull, so I was like, let's do it, it'll be clever. It was not clever, because we walked right into the beam that was currently occupying the same space as the skull as well, so I wouldn't necessarily recommend that one to, you know, you personally. Okay, are they all gonna be skulls? Let's just get them all out in the open here, then. I don't mind using that, because I'm gonna be better off holding this anyway. Interesting, but I'd rather save our money just in case we do have a shop on the next floor. The damage is really, really good. Two I can see forevers, bombs are key, telepills. Should not have done it. But we got a pill, speed up, was it worth it? It's beside the point, because we shouldn't have done it. <laughs> we could have just bombed it instead, but I thought I'd be clever. Although, now that I think about it, I don't understand what could possibly have been clever about that. I don't really want ten bombs, but I also do not want to use um, sharp plug to reroll it. Let's see what we get in our boss fight first. We can't use Sharp Plug to reroll it now anyway. Maybe we'll be stuck with 10 bombs. Okay, I'm feeling like this is a, a really nice hard counter to the bloat. Mostly because we had hard, you know, really amazing damage is a hard counter to a lot of different enemies, so... It's not that of, uh, egregious of, a, of an assessment, I think. Now, we did get another damage upgrade. I'm happy to have it. Still feeling a little, little shaky with respect to our HP right now, but that could easily get handled. Really? Oh, it is a battery. Oh! It is a battery. I really don't want to use sharp plug. So whatever this is, we're going to take it or leave it. We could go back to our shop, but it's a long walk, man. We're going to go back to our shop despite the fact that it's a long walk because it's the right play, mom. I understand. I, you know, I, I hate that attitude actually now that I think about it. Because it's like, fine, why don't you just not succeed then and see what happens? Well, let's see what goes on in this these rooms over here. There's no tinted rock. I would like some tinted rocks. All that for a key? I mean, we spent a key to get through it, so... It doesn't feel like that great of a deal, honestly. He's coming for me! No, they won't be able to suss it out. Oh, another 10 cents. Okay. It wasn't not worth it. Let's put it that way. The only thing that stands between us and a 100% guaranteed win right now... ...is the ability to fly, particularly if we get it for free it would change the game for us completely. If we get the ability to fly, I don't care how it comes. You know, Fates, Dead Dove, Lord of the Pit, Spirit of the Night, three guppy items, doesn't matter. Uh, I probably wouldn't want an active item. I would prefer to keep my D6, but I could be persuaded. We'll see anyway. Um, that allows us to just hide in the corner and use Ludo as ever we please, so it's easy enough. So I, I rerolled homing bombs, which would have given us five bombs, into ten bombs, into monster manual, into five bombs. So, I'm not I'm not feeling uh, too proud of myself right now. But, remote detonator's okay. We got the five bomb bonus. It's the worst of the five bomb bonuses that we could have gotten, but... Still, that's alright. Definitely pop, I can see forever, maybe... We'll get lucky and our curse room will border a secret room. Does not appear so, so... Are we willing to sacrifice uh, one black heart to go into that curse room? Absolutely. There's our secret... Ooh, get out of there. Uh, absolutely I am. Nope. <laughs> That's where our reroll is going to be used, because the secret room has an awesome pool of items to be rerolled. Imagine if we get uh, Black Lotus Raw Liver. Transcendence, you know, these are items that nullify or at least alleviate the problems with my um, my trouble areas right now. Juicy Sack, totally fine. You know, I could use HP, I could use the ability to fly. 
both of which I've explicitly asked for, so it's a huge help for us if we can make this happen. I do want to go to our curse room as well, and the best way to swing that is definitely going to be with, uh, we got one more. We have to have, no, oh, there it is. Thank you, spider. And the best way to do that is going to be, uh, with a curse room. I forgot we had hive mine. Oh, sorry, with a reroll, it's going to be with a reroll because, um, then, yeah, we're going to come back through this way. Then we can reroll that, you know, a non guppy item or a shitty item if we want to. There's something to be said for this, actually. Um, we may want to take Skinny Odd Mushroom. Lowers our damage but increases the ticks. It's a DPS increase, I think. We really just needed to be a DPS increase on a raw level because that's how it's going to apply itself to Ludo, I think. So, um, if that is indeed the case, we, we should pick it up. Except there could be better things. Better options. From that secret room. But we gotta, you know, save rerolls to be used elsewhere as well. Looking for tinted rocks. Uh, don't... Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, that is just a dot. That is not a tinted rock. Shouldn't have gone through those rooms so quickly. I could actually see what was, uh, ahead of me in one of these directions. Ah, you know, this is good. At least we can afford... I can't believe I got that guy blind. There we go. At least I can afford to uh, crack open these, and every black card helps out. Might as well... <sighs> Literally what I said. Might as well crush them all. Dumb decision. However, we did just get an eternal heart out of it. That's the dangerous thing. You can sometimes get uh, not penalized for things you definitely should be penalized for. One bomb, one penny. Not too good. But look at how quickly we are taking out the dark one, man. That is... That is just fantastic damage, and Loki is not going to be much more difficult, if any more difficult at all, for that matter. Two Wheel of Fortunes. I'm just going to blow them both up. I realize that there are benefits they could both provide us, but they're more valuable to be like that. What do you think? We go to our cursor room right now? Hmm? You think so? You think that's a good idea? Yeah, it might be a good idea. Well, we have, uh, well, we have the opportunity to do so, at least. I forgot I cannot fly. Should have a good deal with the devil chance on this floor, so I'm hoping that we can maybe pick up a Spirit of the Night, probably is the most likely. Can't play you. Wish I could have. Kind of a poor play on my behalf there. That was not very smart either. Don't really want that. Let's see what's in our second secret room. I like this. Plenty of I can see forever. A speed up. Bombs are key. Balls of steel, that's what I'm looking for. And telepills, which is interesting but not nearly worthwhile um let's drop this over here the matchstick that is and we're gonna force ourselves to get it again anyway all right let's uh let's go one more room and then we'll try to drop it somewhere up here goat hoof we don't need we have already great speed this way we just don't have to keep walking in and out to get our trinket shit sorted out so let's uh item room was juicy sack Curse room, secret room. With balls of steel, I think we can afford to go to our curse room right away. Little nervous about HP, but not as nervous as you might think, because our damage is so good. Okay, this is what I wanted, basically. Fair to say that wasn't what I wanted, but, you know, got the item in here, maybe. No, but to a heart's terrible. Just a terrible assortment of bullshit in there. Uh, we have a shop remaining, but we can probably buy a charge on there if we have to. Reroll this. Book of Secrets. Terrible. I'm gonna do something I should not do. Yeah. Um, I, I am happy with this, but at the same time a little scared about the fact that I did hurt myself on, uh, on that sharp plug payout to get the Odd Mushroom. I think Fat Odd Mushroom is a better choice because it does give us the HP as well. Um, did it make our shot speed a lot lower? It's gonna help our spiders out as well. I think overall it was a net net positive, but a little risky. We have so much money, we might as well take advantage of this. Telepills is not what I was looking for. Um, sure, we'll get that. Uh, we don't want telepills necessarily. We probably want the Emperor card instead. All right, let's do this. We're, we're ready for the fight. We're gonna have three HP on the next floor, bare minimum. We might just pop the Emperor card right away, although I probably will not. Don't see, oh, there is a Tinted Rock. I was totally wrong. Okay, so we got an extra spirit art out of it that way. Damage is so good, man. This is amazing Ludovico damage. And we did get a deal with the devil. At which point we're going to fight Krampus and, uh... That's real bad. <laughs> that's terrible luck, because we can't do anything with that right now. 
I don't really want to use the Emperor card immediately. Kind of want to save it for, like, uh, a floor where we have no mapping. Like Curse of the Lost, basically. Oh, that's good. Two luck upgrades. Probably going to lead to more luck upgrades because we do have a contract from below. It's going to lead to more of everything, hopefully, but... We can deal with more luck upgrades for now. Waiting for Liberty Cap to show us, you know, where we're supposed to be. Either way, you know, every room that goes by without us getting hit is a, a positive for sure. Should still, you know, crush some stuff. Not the worst idea. Do I want to trade two... Oh, there we were. On the right side there. Left side, sorry. Do we want to trade two hearts for the opportunity to see what's in the curse room? Not at all. <laughs> we could trade one and then Emperor card. I think that's, uh, again, one of those plays that is maybe a little cuter than it is actually worthwhile. I think it, you know, rocking the boat is how we're going to end up finding ourselves tipping over here. Instead, we're just going to hang back, pick up these lovely spirit hearts that are nice enough to show up, and basically just shit all over the, the bloat there, and get magic mushrooms. So I would say that this is a foregone conclusion that we will get to 90 wins. That is uh, exceptional to me. I would not have considered that that was... You know, even when I was like, my goal for 2015 is to have a 100 win streak at some point, or a triple digit win streak, I would not have expected it to it to come on this one. Let's just put it that way. I guess you never expected, so... Ooh, it's, uh... It's nice. That is... Let's not count our chickens. Yet. Uh, is, I guess, what I what that was telling me. That's a good sign. I might not re-roll this run. No. Uh, I would have re-rolled it for sure. 100% I would have re-rolled it. Not a doubt in my mind. Why do you ask? Uh, but yeah, this is... Uh, this is really... It's its a little... I'm getting a little sentimental. And I, I got that telltale, like, uh, the heart rate increase there just a second ago. When I said that I was getting sentimental because I'm realizing that win 90 is... Uh, it's here, man. Win 90 is probably all but guaranteed. And that means the next big milestone is... Well, win 99 because it's Wayne Gretzky's number, of course. But that's just a Canadian um, tradition to celebrate the 99th of everything. That's why the 99 cent store is such a huge deal here. But, uh, no, sincerely, the uh, the next big milestone is 100. And if it ends at 95, fuck it, man. It ends at 95. If it ends at 91. If it ends at 90, it doesn't matter. Too much. That's still really good. I'd still be amazed. Um, but, of course, we are getting closer and closer to the, the almighty payout that I've been searching for. The almighty streak finish. I don't think we have any... Like, there is min-maxable stuff on this floor. I think it's largely irrelevant. I'm just gonna... Push myself as good as I can go here uh, to the boss fight. Try not to take incredibly stupid damage. And if I can avoid that, I think we're pretty much in the clear here. I mean, we're gonna use the Emperor card on the next floor. And then it should be very easy for us to... Well, maybe not easy, but we'll be on the chest. So we'll see what we get. And then, you know, tackle it as, so, as such. Look at how much damage we're doing. I didn't even have to target the other parts there, which is very rare. Uh, to have damage to that insane degree without a huge assortment of flies. Yes, we did have some spiders, but still. We'll see on Isaac here how much damage we're doing. It's quite a lot. Should not have taken damage there. I was trying to dodge to make sure my spiders got aggro. Alright, where are you at? This is, again, I, I don't want to take too much credit for this run. This is largely just math. Dark Judas is really good. <laughs> as is Magic Mushroom, as is Cricket's Head, as is getting a whole bunch of damage upgrades to start your run. You know, the Pact, etc, etc. Hoo-hoo-hoo! Okay, this is a nice relief after the last one was a little bit, you know, getting my blood pressure up. Decent. Decent. Not good. Uh, yeah, we'll take it, because it's strange, but probably not immediately that good. And we'll reroll that. Yeah, Shielded Tears is awesome. Now if we can just get Strange Attractor. Um, I'd be expecting some decent items down here because we do have uh, a high luck stat. We've had four luck upgrades show up on the last two floors. And we have Contract from below, so every time we get a chest drop, it should be two chest drops. We got keys necessary to open... Uh, I don't want to necessarily counter chickens before they hatch, but we probably can open most of them, if not all of them. Mr. Boom. And it's a, it's a suitable reroll target if we don't get a better room in the future. It takes like one second of sustained damage to take out these super bloats here. Or sorry, super bloats. Yeah, you're close. Regular dingles. Super bloats, regular dingles. Same thing. Same difference. I will say, shot speed, quite poor. It's 
not very strong right now. And these dingles, or these dips, are substantially faster, which is very annoying. Two bombs. Well, we'll continue to do our big rooms. Might as well get them out of the way. Let's see how long it takes us to kill Famine. Not long. Pestilence seemed even shorter, honestly. Just wait for death. Which is actually a positive thing, even though it sounded very negative there. There's war. I'm predicting that you're going to be pretty easy as well. Just want to keep my tier between me and you, and if that happens, not too much you can do to stop me. Still no chess. Very surprised. Well, and there's our boss fight. Wow. That was very, very fast. We're just going to go for it because we can. Two chess. I can see forever. Why not? Mulligan's good. I mean, it, these are all, like, way too little too late. Let's try to reroll hot bombs. And it becomes butt bombs. Man, this is, like, the the run of the bomb rerolls here. And that is just a nice, nice amount of damage right there. What, a, what an awesome way to finish that fight. So that should be win 90. Win 90. Sweet. This is crazy. Uh, in five days, we'll we'll know whether or not we're going to be at win 100. But for now, uh, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.